Hey guys, my name is Jacob Gold Polly, and welcome back to the Hockey Gong Show. Uh, today we're going to be doing the trade between Buffalo and Carolina that happened just recently, involving Jeff Skinner and Cliff Pooh and a couple other draft picks. Now, in this trade, there are a lot of ways to go about it. Carolina Hurricanes can go about it by saying they got Cliff Pooh, who although is not an elite player yet, is trained to become an elite player in the uh, London Knights. Now, that, although that is a very good team, it is not an NHL team. They also did receive a couple of draft picks for it, but I feel that draft picks um, in exchange for a player like Jeff Skinner is not the best move because we've seen time and time again Nail Yakupov being first overall. Um, just uh, b a lot of players who were supposed to be very good in the NHL ended up not being very good so I just feel that player like Jeff Skinner who has proved himself in the NHL deserves to be traded or at least should be traded for someone who has proven to be a good player in the NHL as he is. Now these players play different roles on a team. Cliff Pooh plays more of a Nicholas Backstrom type game in that he is more focused on setting up plays instead of finishing them. Now, Jeff Skinner is a playmaker as well, but he is more of a finisher as well. He um he can put the puck in the net better than a lot of people, especially the ones on his team. Jeff Skinner is 26. He is a small guy, as we all know. He's very, very shifty, though. When he grew up, he was a figure skater, an incredibly good skater now, which has really helped him in the NHL. Jeff Poo is 6'3". He's 20 years old, very young. Um, still needs to mature a little bit in the minors. Or where, well, now he will be in the minors, yes. But uh, he will need to mature a little bit if he's going to bring up his level to the point where he can play. But I feel that if he's going to be playing in Carolina, they're going to need a lot more players who can play like him. They're going to need to sign. They, he won't. They won't be signed to the contract that Jeff Skinner was signed to. But he will be signed to something decent. He will probably play on the third line, third fourth line if he gets into the NHL. Um, but I feel that he has the potential to play on a uh, line with uh, Sebastian Ajo. Let's say if if he learns to, um, if he just learn, if he just enhances his skills as the uh, as he matures. Now, the Carolina Hurricanes have a lot of depth to their team. Their first line, for example, is Sebastian Ajo, Andrei uh, Svechnikov, sorry, um, Valentin Zaikov. Now, those three guys are very fast, as we all know. They are, um, they are very skilled. Uh, Andre was drafted second overall this year by the Hurricanes. Sebastian Ajo is very young as well. Um... They are going to make a major impact on this team moving forward in the future. Maybe not this year, but in the future. I felt that Jeff Skinner could have helped these guys a little bit, considering the fact that they play the same type of style. But that's not going to happen anymore, and I feel that they need to be those players to step up in this situation. Um, their second line is Martin Nikas, Tavo Teravainen, and Michael Ferlin. Those guys, um, Teravainen is a very good, a very skilled player. Um, Martin Nikas, he is a, uh, straight to the point type of player. So is Michael Furlan. And I feel that, uh, Cliff Pooh could be on that line. And, um, he, if you watch his highlights in the London Knights, he, um, he's more of a playmaker in front of the net, not himself in front of the net, but he's, he's a very good person to, he can see the eyes very well from anywhere and he can get it to a stick to, for a good deflection. Um, I feel like Michael Furlan can help him with that. But I feel that he most belongs on the third line if he were to play and if he were to mature a little bit more. Um, the third line currently is Brock McGinn, Jordan Stahl, and Justin Williams. Now, these three players are very, very good players. Third line, in this case, yes, they are. Jordan Stahl played with the Penguins. He was a very skilled player, played the same way that Sebastian Ajo kind of played. But now he's very old, can't really move a whole lot as much as he used to. Justin Williams, we know that when he was playing for the, um, when he played uh, for the Capitals, that he was a very good net front presence guy. And he played the same way when he won the Stanley Cup 
with the Hurricanes a while back. Um, and Brock McGinn, he is a very straight-to-the-point type of player. Um, I feel Cliff Pooh can help them, maybe rekindle something in Jordan Stahl to bring him back to his Sebastian Ajo days. I mean, of course, he's not going to be the Sebastian Ajo, but he can certainly do some damage still at his age. Justin Williams, I've seen with him in the Golden, um, sorry, London Knights. Um, Cliff Pooh plays with players who play just like Justin Williams, except for Justin Williams is a very good deflection man or a very good finisher in front of a net. So is Jordan Stahl uh, and Brock McGinn, but I feel Brock McGinn should be the one to move down. Jordan Stahl could stay in front of the net, but I feel like he would be more dangerous playing as more of a Kuznetsov role to Cliff Poo's, um, to K Cliff Poo's uh, Nicholas Backstrom. Now, like the Carolina Hurricanes, the Buffalo Sabres have a lot of depth to their team, both offensively and now defensively with the addition of Rasmus Dahlin with the first overall pick. Their first line consists of Jack Eichel and Sam Reinhardt of the moment. Those two guys were the duo of the year last year concerning all young players. They uh, combined for a lot of points last year. Now, I feel that Jeff Skinner can only help that. Jeff Skinner is a playmaker as well as a scorer. I feel that they see Jack Eichel as only a scorer, and that's why they're able to shut him down. He's not. He doesn't have anybody to give it to. So if you lock down him on the line, you can shut down Reinhardt immediately because Reinhardt sits in front of the net most of the time and waits for and waits for Eichel to shoot it so he can put home a rebound or he waits around the 10 about a 10 foot radius from the net he could score anywhere from there um but if it's not getting there there's no way this team is going to score and I feel like that really hurt them throughout their lineup because it was the same type of um same, same type of play but um Jeff Skinner is going to be a very good player on this line. I feel that he's going to be able to feed Jack Eichel with a lot of pucks. And we all know how Jack Eichel can shoot. Jack Eichel will take one-timers. He's more of a Alex Ovechkin type player with the way he plays. I feel that Jeff Skinner can be his Nicholas Backstrom, as we mentioned before. Um, the second line consists of Kyle Poso, Casey Middlestat, and possibly Connor Sheary. Now, Connor Sheary came from the Penguins this year with, along with Matt Hunwick. These, he, he's a very good player. Um, he, he's not, he has not found his thing yet. He, thing meaning his style of play. Kyle Poso and Casey Middlestaff have more um, established themselves in the NHL. Kyle, Kyle Poso is a, um, is a sniper, more, moreover, than anything else. He's a skilled player all around, but I feel that He's going to be playing a uh, shooting role. Casey Middlestat can take it to the net. He, I feel he plays more of a Evgeny Kuznetsov uh, type of play. Connor Sheary, I feel, can only help that because watching him play in the Penguins, he could do anything that anybody wanted. He could take one-timers if he needs to, get in front of the net, put home rebounds, go on a breakaway. He's a very sp uh, speedy player, but I'm not sure where he's going to fit throughout the lineup this year. The third line is Patrick Berglund. Chase in Palmonville and Vladimir Sabotka. Now, I really liked Vladimir Sabotka when he played with the Blues. He was an all-around great player. Now, Patrick Berglund as well. I liked him when he played in St. Louis as well. Um, those two guys were very good. Now, Jason Palmonville is more of an older player, but he still has a lot of fight in him left when he came over with Marco Scandella from Minnesota. Um, both of those guys are going to have to step up a lot this year, considering the fact that most of these players are very young, but they're very skilled. With the right leadership, they can soar. Now, if Cliff Pooh were to enter the NHL with the Carolina Hurricanes, I feel that he would be put on a power play unit, possibly the second power play unit. I feel that he would be a very good point man. Now, I understand that he's not a defenseman, but normally on a power play, there's only one defender. He can work the point really well. I've seen in um, clips that I've seen of him. He can make plays from anywhere. He can make plays uh, from the top of the blue line, or he can make it behind the net. He's a very good player, but he's predictable. 
That's the problem. I feel like if he plays with players who are very shifty, he can find a way to make it work, and that's what I feel why he's not in the NHL currently. Um, Jeff Skinner, on the other hand, will be most... Uh, if You'd have to be crazy not to put Jeff Skinner on a power play. Um, he plays the Kuznetsov type of role. I feel that he will play that um, on the power play. He will. I see him. I see him feeding Jack Eichel a lot of passes for one timers this year, and Ryan Hart standing right in front, putting it away, or Jeff Skinner taking it up once again, like I said, at like his nets off does, right down the middle, around the side, take it in and score. If you were to ask me who won this trade, um, I'd probably say Carolina won this trade. Cliff Poo is a very good player, um, skilled, skilled, extremely skilled. Uh, they got draft picks as well. Now, it all depends on what you do with those draft picks. You can pick some very bad players. Or you can pick some all-stars. But it's all up to what's available and who they're scouting. Um, Jeff Skinner, as I said, is a proven player. But I feel that he is going to the Buffalo Sabres, which... Is not the best situation for him, I feel. But uh, I feel that he fit in much better in Carolina and the way they play. Uh, if I, if we're talking on a level playing field with no no team, not well, not no teams. I'm I'm speaking um, with even teams. If they were playing with even teams and they were to be traded, I felt I would feel that um, the team receiving Jeff Skinner would win this trade hands down currently but I feel that Jeff Skinner is not going to play the role that he was well meant to play I feel but I could be wrong we've been wrong about the trade we've been wrong about trades numerous times um it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see Cliff Pooh very good player skilled very skilled their draft picks it all depends on you know who they're going to pick it all depends on who's available, who they're scouting. It has there's a lot of factors that go into um, that go into drafting. Now you can never promise a player is going to be good enough to play competitively in the NHL. But these two players have proven themselves. Cliff Poo, not necessarily yet, but I feel that he is going to be a semi good player in the NHL. He just needs to mature himself, and he needs to become less predictable. Then he will be—he will be good enough to be—he's good enough to be in the NHL currently. But I don't feel that he belongs in the NHL yet. He will soon. He just needs to stick with it. That's it for now. Uh, leave leave a comment on what you think I should do next. Uh, really like the support. Thanks you to everybody who uh, subscribed, and I'll see you next time.